classification. It's all about putting animals into groups according to the way their bodies look and the way their bodies function. We do this to help us understand the way the animals interact with one another, the habitat around them, and basically understand their role in the environment. Let's have a look at some of our amazing animals and try and find out what group they belong to. Sea stars have five to 16 arms. Their bodies are really flat and their skin's really tough and hard to protect them. Underneath each arm, there are lots of little tube feet which run all the way into the middle of their body, which meets at their mouth. When they eat their food, they do something really weird. They spit their stomach out and they absorb the fruit across their stomach then suck their tummy back in again. Sea urchins have lots of spines coming out of their hard shell-like bodies, which is called a test. Some sea urchins have got short, sharp spines, just like the short-spined urchin. Others, like the pencil urchins, have got blunt, long, really strong spines. Just like the sea stars, the sea urchins' mouths are found underneath their bodies. But these guys have actually got five very sharp teeth to help them eat their food. And also, on the underside of their bodies, there are lots and lots of little tube feet. The common black sea cucumbers. They get called cucumbers just because of their shape, just like the vegetable. They are really, really soft, and on the underside of their body, they've got many, many tube feet. Now, you might think that all these animals belong to different groups because they look so different from one another. But actually, they all belong to the group of animals called echinoderms. All echinoderms have got little tube feet somewhere on their bodies. But they also share something else. What's going on on the inside that you don't get to see? They all pump water around their body, not blood to survive. The water carries the nutrients from their food around so they can live and grow, and it also activates their little tube feet. So with classification, it's not enough just to put animals into groups according to the way their bodies look on the outside. You've got to know what's going on the inside as well, the way they function. Why don't you look at some different animals that come from the sea and see if you can put them into groups.